It's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Jane Osborne, who's the Vice President of R&D at Bedimune here to the GAP Summit. So Dr. Osborne, how have you found the GAP Summit so far and how have you enjoyed the experience? Well, I've had a really great morning already just chatting to some of the leaders of tomorrow and I think the great um, uh, take home for me is the, the level of excitement, enthusiasm and real engagement that, um, that, that the GAP delegates bring. Uh, and I've just found that very rewarding. I've been asked some challenging questions and I think that gives me great hope for the future of our sector. What kind of impact do you think that initiatives such as the GAP Summit and Global Biotech Revolution can have on early and young stage professionals and young entrepreneurs in the biotech industry? Well, I think there's two things that really strike me about the GAP initiative. Firstly, it is global and I think creating those global connections and getting that understanding of what kind of challenges there are from different geographies is really important and the diversity of the group that I've seen here today is really impressive. So I think that's a real opportunity. So I think um, being able to share diverse views and opinions on A, what the challenges are, the gaps are, and B, potential solutions um, gives a really different angle and I think that's, that's really valuable. For current leaders in the biotech sector, to actively engage with young people and future leaders? Well, I'm a real believer in the importance of giving back to the community. Certainly at Medimmune and AstraZeneca, which are our parent organisation, we do a huge amount of um, science, technology, engineering, maths, um, outreach work. We support um, PhD students, postdocs. So I think there's, there's an onus on, on leaders of today to make sure that we're imparting as much um, knowledge, information and advice as possible, but it's also a two-way street. It's very important for us to understand um, what the new world will look like, the kind of questions that the next generation are asking, and I think that actually benefits us as well. So I see it very much as a dialogue, uh, but I think there's a responsibility for us to make sure that we're doing everything we can to, to help the next generation. What advice would you give to the leaders of tomorrow when they're looking to build a career as a future leader in the biotech sector? Um, so advice I would give, firstly, I would say think big, be ambitious, um, really think about what problems you're trying to solve and how you can approach them and, and try not to compromise. I think that's something that I've learned sort of more gradually over my career. But I would say, you know, really do try and think um, ambitious ideas, uh, bold ideas, and that, that way you will actually bring people with you and you, know, you, you, will, you will get to a point where you may not absolutely achieve the goals that you set out, but you will go a long way down, down to doing that. So be ambitious and actually the other piece of advice we'll give is talk to as many people as you can and just get different ideas, get different perspectives to get a better understanding of what the problems and challenges are and what the potential solutions could be. So you're here at the GAP Summit as part of the panel topic, uh, Road from Academia to Industry, and the discussion around that. Um, what do you think are some of the most significant emerging trends in that area? So I think um, emerging trends are very much um, around how we're approaching collaboration between academia and industry. And I think we're in a very different place now than we were even five years ago, certainly 10 years ago. I think there's a lot more openness for information sharing across academia and industry and I think there's a much more of a sort of shared culture of um, doing genuinely synergistic collaborations. So I think that's the big opportunity and I, I really would encourage um, the sort of next generation of, of leaders to think how can you sort of come up with synergistic ideas to, to work in partnership with industry. I think the other thing industry is doing very well is, is, is working to find ways of sharing capabilities, ideas, whether they be technical capabilities, whether they be um, intellectual property, open innovation is a very strong theme um, in that space at the minute. So I think there's a, there's a very nice opportunity for more collaboration and much more openness. Uh, and I think that's, that, that's the, the future, the next 10, 20 years, we'll see even more of that. That's exactly what the leaders of tomorrow will spend their careers working on, I would imagine. Yeah, that's good. Um, when it comes for the young scientists here at this event, um, or graduate students, 
how do you think they can be better prepared when it comes to a career in industry and making that switch from academia to industry? So, well, I, I came from academia to industry, so I was an undergraduate here. I did a PhD in molecular biology and a couple of postdocs. Um, and I was a very, um, I was very focused on sort of learning from books and was probably quite introverted at that stage. And I've gradually learnt to be uh, more um, networked and actually sort of use connections and talk to people. And I think if I'd have learned that sooner, that would have been really helpful if I'd sort of understood the importance of that, that yes, you can learn a huge amount. There's a huge amount of knowledge on the internet from, from, um, from papers and, and journals. But actually talking to people and putting value on your networks early, um, you never know when those networks might be useful to you. They may never be useful. They may be, you know, maybe two, five years down the line. But just having people who you can sound ideas off, um, maybe ask for help. Um, so I would say, think about your networks. And again, the Gap Summit's a great way to really build a fantastic network, not just of the sort of cohort for this year, but the alumni and the current leaders that are here engaging. You know, I, I feel very strongly that we need to support young people in, in building connections and networks. So that would be my one strongest piece of advice. Fantastic, thank you. And then last question, when it comes to academia and industry, how do you think that companies and universities can collaborate more effectively to, sh to solve the biggest gaps in the industry? I think it all comes down to shared objectives and understanding um, what the academic um, want, group wants to try and do uh, and what the industry ultimate goal will be. Um, but within certainly our organisation, Medimmune AstraZeneca, we are very, very science focused. And we completely believe, and I think that's been proven by some of the recent um, drug approvals that we've had over the past couple of years, that if you focus on doing really great science, then um, benefits to patients, differentiation in terms of medicines, and ultimately commercial value will follow. So I think it's finding those shared scientific objectives and really working hard to, um, to come to joint work plans, joint ideas, and sharing the benefits of that as well, sharing the information, sharing the intellectual property, sharing the downstream rewards. So I think that's really what we're trying to do as our organisation, and I see that as a trend in the industry. Fantastic. Thank you very much.